Behind me is the deadliest intersection in the West. More men died fighting within spitting distance of this corner than in any in the frontier. We're standing at Fifth and Allen, Tombstone, Arizona Territory, a deadly address. In fact, it was on December 28, 1881, at midnight, that one of the most deadliest fights in the Old West started right on this corner. Three heavily armed men walk up the boardwalk and sneak into a building that's under construction on the southeast corner of Fifth and Allen. Concealing themselves in the breastworks of the Huachuca Water Company, the three suspects look to see if they can find their target. Just before midnight, coming out of the Golden Eagle Saloon, comes Doc Goodfellow walking east to go visit a patient. Will the man that they're waiting for appear? Just after midnight, he does, stepping out of the Oriental Saloon. Virgil Earp walks slowly with a slight limp that he received in the recent gunfight near the OK Corral. As he walks across the intersection of Fifth and Allen and is silhouetted into the lights of the Golden Eagle Brewery, all three men raise and fire and buckshot sprays across the intersection. Hit in the left elbow and side, Virgil spins around in pain. The three suspects run south, heading into the gulch, mounting up and heading out of town. Incredibly, what? Virgil Earp kept his feet and walked back across what? the street to the Oriental where he fell into the arms of his brother, Wyatt Earp. What? What? I hit! I hit that! Wyatt! Help me! Immediately, everyone suspected the Clantons, Ike Clanton in particular, who had been going around trying to get the Earps sent away to jail or hung or both. He had been bragging for some time that he was going to get the Earps, and on this night, evidently, he almost succeeded. Virgil Earp was so badly wounded, his friends thought he wouldn't even live for an hour. They carried him to the Cosmopolitan Hotel, and Doc Goodfellow and several other doctors were summoned to operate on him. They quickly surmised that his elbow was a wreck and splintered beyond recognition. Hold on. It, take it easy, Verge. Hold on, Virgil, easy. Hold him real still. Hold on. No! Hold on. No! Hold on. Take yeah. it easy. Damn take it, it easy. doctor, hold him still. More chloroform. They all looked it over and they said, you're not going to be able to keep that arm. So what they did was they gave him a little chloroform and they sawed off his arm below the elbow and above the elbow and then sewed the whole thing back together. When um, Virgil's wife Allie came into the room, she was terribly upset as you might imagine. And she said, oh my Lord. And Virgil said, Damn. Don't worry Allie darling. I still got one good arm to hold you with. In spite of three men shooting heavily charged shotguns and they got away clean when they got back to Charleston, allegedly they found out that Virgil was not killed and Ike said, well, I'll have to go back and do the job all over again. Mm -hmm.